New technology is constantly being integrated into the Rutgers experience, and the most recent addition of 3D printers are allowing students to make their ideas a reality. Located at Fordham Commons on the Douglas campus, the new MakerBot replicators are transforming graphic designs into tangible objects. Stacy Carton, the manager of Fordham Commons, has already seen the printers being used for a variety of purposes. As far as what the printers can do for the Rutgers community, we sort of took the attitude of if you build it, they will come. And we want to be open to all the different departments and let people use their imagination to do their own designs, do projects for classes. So really limited only by creativity and imagination. The addition of 3D printing is the beginning of an effort to show how libraries can benefit the university community. We would like to in the future build what they call a maker space as the libraries move forward and become less book oriented and more digital. Rutgers acquired the 3D printers through a grant awarded by LibraryLink NJ in an effort to create more of these maker spaces and promote the library as a collaborative workspace. Jonathan Sassetta, the music and performing arts librarian at Rutgers, sees this as a big step forward for the library system. We were the only university library to actually receive it, so we're really, we're really excited about what this means for our students and faculty and staff. As of now, it costs 25 cents to print and is cash only, but those in charge expect fees to become a part of the library printing system very soon. People are starting to brainstorm and think of different ways that they can um, really use these in the classroom and, and take these to kind of the next level of, of, uh, of usefulness. While having these printers on campus is a step towards becoming more digital, Rutgers wants to ensure that they're being fully utilized. For Jams News, I'm Brooke Sassman.